Hi guys, it's LJ here. Um, it has been uh, two weeks, a week and a half, um, since I've come to you guys with an update. Um, I had a really quick one from when I was in Atlanta, but um, and I meant to film when I got back home. It's just been kind of crazy. Well, actually, my week four video would have been while I was still in Atlanta. And I didn't want to film it there and try to post it because when I posted the one I did previously in Atlanta, it took hours to post just because the Wi-Fi in the room was so slow. Um, and then I was going to post it when I got back. But um, here in Texas and Central, South, East Texas, we've been experiencing a lot of rain. And so when I got back, we had um, just had some tornadoes and flooding and it's just been kind of crazy um not with necessarily me in particular but it's just with trying to get all that done and um graduations and stuff have been happening so long story short i didn't film i'm coming now so here i am so um this will be my week four month one and week five all in one um video so let's get into it I'm going to give my stats for week 4 and my stats for week 5 because I written down for week 4 because I was going to do that. And then um, I have the ones for week 5. So I will get into it. Um, my, oh, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy sur surgery on April 28th, 2016 with Dr. Mason at St. Joseph Regional Health Center in Bryan, Texas. I, um, my highest weight, which is also right before my pre-op, was 252. Um, week three, I was 222.7. And week four, I weighed in at 221. And so that was a 17.9 loss in surgery. Now week five, um, I weighed in this Thursday at 216.9, which would have been a loss of 4.1 pounds for the week, which I'm super happy about. And an overall weight loss of 35.1 since my highest and 22 pounds since surgery. So, I think all of that is great and awesome. <coughs> um, I will say that for my, I, well for week four I expected a bigger loss just because I um, had been, when Atlanta we been, we walked like, a ton and me and my mom worked out every single night so I expected kind of a bigger loss way more than just a pound ish um, and so I was kind of surprised by that but I was very excited when I stepped on the scale this Thursday um, and today Saturday this Thursday and weighed in at 216.9 so I guess it just took it a little bit to catch up so I will kind of get into it I wrote some notes that's what I keep looking at um, so first I will talk about my week in Atlanta. Um, it was fun. I was worried. I've been worried since I set my surgery date about how Atlanta was going to go. I was in Atlanta for school. I'm, um, getting my master's de degree, um, through Walden University. And so as part of the degree, God, my eyebrows are really jacked up. As part of the degree, um, we have to attend what they call two residencies and if to get some face-to-face -face time with our professors and with our other classmates and those kinds of things. So it was a great experience, but I was worried because I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do food. Um, as I said in thinking like my very first video, um, or, well, my first video and then my second like full-length video, um, my original surgery date was April 21st, and so I would have been at a different point in my diet for Atlanta and so when they pushed me back a pushed me back a week I was very worried so I was like I'm not gonna be at the stage I wanted to be for Atlanta um so I was worried but because I did not follow and rarely ever follow the rules and didn't follow doctor's orders and haven't really been anyways um I hadn't I kind of skipped over a strict pureed stage and kind of moved into soft food. So that's kind of what I did in Atlanta. Um, luckily, with my mom, um, we were able to split almost everything we we did so I didn't waste money. But being in a new place and having to pretty much eat out every night, not all the food was great. I definitely tried to make um, 
better decisions, but I was in Atlanta. I wanted to try some new food. Um, we had Gladys Knight's chicken and waffles. It was delicious. So, of course, I had some fried chicken. Not a lot. Um, but that happened. Um, I will say that that week I really realized that when I eat regular food, um, and Just so, okay, sorry, something happened and I didn't, I wasn't for sure if this was still recording. Um, anyway, um, I get this extremely, like, full feeling and it is very uncomfortable and it takes like an hour for it to go away. It's not painful, it's just uncomfortable, excuse me, uncomfortable. And so, um, <coughs> it just makes it easier for me to snack and eat junk food. Jeez, excuse me, and eat junk food. So I've realized that I really have to watch myself when I'm snacking um, because it is just so easy for me to just continually munch on this, munch on this, and snack, snack, snack because I don't feel as full when I do that. It doesn't sit as heavy, and it's just a lot more comfortable for me to eat. So I try to make myself eat at least one, like, meal. Um, so outside of Atlanta, what I've been really pretty much eating have been at home, I've been eating eggs. Um, I've taken um, Chick-fil-A nuggets, which you've seen in my, one of my past videos. Put them in my Ninja food processor and made chicken dust, I call it. Um, and so I typically will add that to the eggs or I'll add that to refried beans or add that to mashed potatoes. I try not to eat too many mashed potatoes because it's so much carbs. But um, those are kind of things I try to eat at home. Um, and then when I've gone out, I make it like a hamburger patty. And just like with a piece of cheese on it or something because it's a lot easier for me to break that into small pieces and eat it. Um, and so I've just really been trying to watch on making sure that if I, whatever I'm eating, that I break it up small enough so I chew it very well and so that hopefully it doesn't sit quite as heavy. <coughs> um, I feel like my weight loss has been a little slower than others. I don't know. It could just be, you know... I, I don't know. Maybe everybody feels that way I feel sometimes. Um, or maybe my expectations were a little bit more. But I'm not necessarily upset about that. I feel like if I, not say I want to continue to be slow, but if I lose weight slower, it probably will help in the long run with having excess skin and it'll give me the ability to tone up a little bit more. Um, because I will say that I've been watching Lauren Luzin. And I'm already ready for plastics. Like, that's just how I feel right now. She looks amazing. And I just want to be her. Shout out to Lauren Losing. I think we should be friends. That's just what I'm going to say. Um, and so that's been one of the um, biggest things. I've talked about moving through my food stages. I did the liquid thing for the two weeks. I kind of combined puree and soft foods because I was not about to puree nothing what happened so um i'm still in the soft food stage i can't say that i go out and i just eat normally like that's just not happening just also it also doesn't feel very comfortable for me and so it just makes me not really want to eat a whole lot a whole lot of actual like meal food um and so i've been trying to uh, i'm going to try to find some recipes i had before when i was in my liquid stage and then i stopped because i was just getting hungry so i'm gonna look at my pinterest boards i've created and um Look at some things and try to make some meals. I did that right at the beginning of my period stage, but I did not take into account the fact that I can't eat it all before it goes bad. I'm not a huge on leftovers, and so I really need to make sure that whatever I make to cook, like my mom and my dad can eat it, since I live with my parents right now. Um, that way it kind of goes quicker. Um, my daughter ain't going to really eat nothing that I cook. That's just what that is. <coughs> um... Let's see. So over the past month, here are some of the things that I have I have done from surgery to now. So since surgery, I have started drinking out of a straw. I started that probably about week three, I think. No, no, take that back. It was the second week I tried the straw because I was not getting in my water, which I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and so I was like, you know what, I'm going to just try it because I'm just so used to drinking out of straws. And so I tried it and it, it was just a lot better. So I drink out of straws a lot now um, because it, I don't take in as much and it's not as uncomfortable. Also, I started drinking coffee um, at, I think that was during week three as well. 
it was a month since pre-op when I drank coffee, and so I've been loving that. Um, when I do my coffee, what I do in the mornings is I cold brew coffee at home, um, and if you have any questions about cold brewing, just let me know and I'll tell you, um, but I'm not going to explain it right now because I don't know if anybody cares. So, um, I cold brew coffee at home. So, in the mornings, I get up and I do a vanilla premier protein, um, a full one of those full shakes, and then I pour that into my, um, like, venti Starbucks cup, travel cup I have. I pour that cold cup. I pour one of those in there, and then I top it off with coffee, and that's it. Um, I don't put cream, sugar, none of those things in it. The vanilla premier protein is enough of all of that. And so that's what I drink in the morning. Now, when I was in Atlanta, I was doing really good at, like, I would drink that by 10. And then um, at 10 o'clock, we had a break. And so I would go, I would rinse that cup out, fill it back up with water, and then drink that all day. Um, and watch what's going off that I need to take my vitamins. <coughs> um, so... That was when I was in Atlanta. That routine has not carried over till this week. Um, and so I guess that segues me into um, my water stuff. Um, I have not been able to get on a good schedule of drinking water. Like, I just haven't. I tr like, especially with that being at work, I just forget. No matter, I try and carry it with me. I just don't drink a lot. I have no idea. So that's one of the biggest things that I've been trying to do is really, really work on increasing my water. Um, water was a struggle for me before before surgery. I just was never a huge, like, liquid drinker. And so I've been really trying to, like, make that a thing. So, um, which has been an excuse for me to buy all sorts of cups, which I didn't need that excuse. But I'm trying to find out the best way. I had a cup at work, but it's one of those, like, bigger straws. And I don't know. I, eh. That's neither here nor there, really. So, um, I have not been getting in nearly enough water. I just haven't been. And so, that's one of the, my biggest focuses here in month two is really working on getting water. So, I don't know if that means I'm going to set alarms, either on my, probably on my Fitbit, because they will vibrate more. My phone, I may or may not notice that. So, my Fitbit is just easier for me to keep up with the alarms on there. So, my vitamin alarms are set to this. Um, and so, I don't know if I'm going to set alarm things on my Fitbit to go off to remind me, hey, drink something, stop, you know, stop, drop, and sip, or whatever it is, um, and so, <coughs> that's kind of where I am, um, in regards to the coffee, I haven't had any adverse effects from it, it hasn't made me feel sick, I've drank, I love Starbucks, so I've drank Frappuccinos, iced coffees, I tried the cold brew, all of that, and none of that um, has made me feel sick or anything like that. I will say that coffee has helped me keep regular, if you know what I mean. You know, like, pooping regular. So, that's been good because before, mm, I was struggling. So, um, that's been good. Also, working out. I, you know, before I went back to work, it was a lot easier for me to get up and do... Um, you know, I was making sure I got my 10,000 steps in. Anything more than that, I was it was kind of a wearing down. But as I've gone through month one and entering month two, I can do a little bit more. Um, and so right now my goal for this next week is to really find my balance between when I'm going to work out and when I'm going to get everything else done. Um, school started back up for me this week after having a little bit of a break. And so um, that is kind of where I am. What that means is I need to wake myself up and work out in the morning. Really will be the only way I'm going to get in a workout um, every day. Because by the time I pick up my daughter and I come home and I have homework, it's just not conducive. I, I talk myself out of it way easier. Um, problem? Not a morning person. I don't like to wake up because I don't sleep. I don't like to sleep either. So those things don't really go hand in hand. So... Um, the main thing is I'm going to get my butt in bed and get my butt, butt, butt up in the morning and work out. Um, and so once I start that, probably in my next update, I'll let you guys know kind of what routine I'm doing um, and how that's working for me. So stay tuned for that. Um, 
Let me see. Really, I think that's it for my update for this week. Um, I had, like I said, nothing has been super. I don't have a no, no major things happened. Um, and so I've just been kind of coasting along. The biggest thing has just been food and not, um, and how it makes me feel eating real food versus snack food. So that's pretty much the biggest challenge and struggle that I, I, um, contend with throughout the weeks and days. So, um, I want to kind of get on a better schedule of, of, um, getting my lunch together and stuff. This first month has just been so crazy and so off the norm for me and so I'm really interested to see how month two goes will be a little bit more telling as to what my routine will be and how my everyday life will be affected just because with surgery for two weeks and then I just went back to work and then I went out of town again and all these things that's just not a normal thing so I've had to do a lot of adjustments and stuff like that and so um right now my goal is for this next month is to really um formulate a routine and what I'm going to do with food, what I'm going to eat, um, those kinds of things. So, oh, one big thing that did happen is I cut my hair this last, um, week. I cut it, cut my hair off, so I kind of have like a little, you know, taper cut here on the side. Um, I just, I don't know, I'm kind of spur of the moment, um, and I really just felt like I wanted to make a change. I wanted to do this before surgery. And at the time I was like, nope, my face is still too fat. This just won't work. And then, um, I don't know. I just got the idea and I was like, you know what? I'm going to just do it and try it. And so, voila. Um, one thing I did want to say is I still drink smart water. Um, and I just put some flavoring in it to help me drink it. Um, I have been drinking tea iced tea sweet tea because you know the Texans love their sweet tea um I've been drinking it with um I try to drink it with Splenda there's a place I don't know if Nukes is a chain I don't know what it is but there's a place here in town called Nukes and they have sweet tea but they sweeten it with Splenda so that's what I've been so I I've been I got a cup of that earlier this week and I've been drinking that all week um because I'm trying to drink too much of it but I love tea um, and I wanted to share with you guys the vitamins that I take. I know a lot of people have been saying what kind of vitamins do people take. And so this is what I take right now. I go in a few weeks for blood work with my surgeon to see if I need to add any vitamin D and stuff. I would, my assumption is I'll probably at least need to add some vitamin D because I needed that before surgery. Um, but, and I haven't been taking any B12 or anything. I might because I feel like I've been sleeping a lot more than normal. Like I just took a three, four hour nap in the middle of a Saturday. <sighs> so the vitamins I take are bariatric, uh, right, right, there we go, bariatric advantage. This is my multivitamin and I take it, there we go, uh, I don't know which way is. There, that's better. And I take it um, at night because when I first started taking my vitamins again, I took, I took it in the morning and it made me feel sick Ugh. so I take this one at night along with which is what my watch was telling me I need to do along with um, biotin so I'm terrified I'm gonna lose all my hair um, and I just got this on Amazon I couldn't find anything like this in a store so I got this on Amazon and it's just one um, the pill is like that big so it's easy for us sleeves people to take and then I take that at night, and as well, I take my um, acid reducer, my off brand Prilosec OTC stuff. So, those are the three things I take at night. And then in the morning, I take a calcium chew, it's bariatric advantage as well. I take one in the morning and then one um, midday. And so, I have my alarm set for these as well. Typically, during the week, I take this about nine and I think one or something like that. Um, since you can't take more than 500 at a time. So that's kind of what I take. And I have this in the strawberry flavor as well as a chocolate flavor. So you should take the chocolate in the morning and this one in, in the second. I take one or the other because um, I'm weird like that. So that's just a little bit of what's been happening. Um, I think that's it. 
um, on what's been going on with me this week. Um, if you have any questions about anything, the vitamins I take, cold brew coffee, any of those things, please let me know. Um, and I will put all my stats down in the description box below. Um, also, if you want a review on the Fitbit Blaze, anyways, the Fitbit Blaze, my watch here. There we go. Fitbit Blaze, let me know. Um, I love it. I actually just recently got this new band for it, so I'm excited about that. Little things. Um, I love this watch. So if you have any questions about that, please let me know, and I can give you kind of a review on it, especially if you have the Charge HR. That's what I had before I got this, and so I can kind of let you know um, a little bit more about difference between that one and then this watch um yeah so i think that's it guys i will see you guys next week bye